can be about to do. Let us let us at this point pray. La ko si ke ya ne ya ba si ke ya ne ya ba. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank
We give you all the praise. It's in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. 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 At this point in time, Amen. At this point in time, we'll go right on right ahead and we'll go in for our uh, opening prayer. And uh, our brother, uh, Brother Ego, will be taking the opening prayer. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. Still in the mood of prayer. Still in I, the mood of prayer. I, I would like us to open I would like the book to of open. Uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Um, it said, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And Amen. this is our month of new beginning. And. Yes. Um, Anything that has to do with beginning has to do with creativity. So yes, we are yes. going to ask for God to help us in every arms of the church, to give Amen. us the spirit of creativity in every arms of the church. Because Amen. it's creativity that moves the church forward. So our opening prayer goes like this. Oh God, give us the spirit of creativity in every arms of the church. Yes. In the name of Jesus. As this month is Amen. a month of new beginning, let there be creativity. Let there creativity. be creativity in the music department. Let there be creativity yes, in the ushering department. Yes, let there Lord. be creativity in the sermon. Let there be creativity in the way in the prayer department so that yes, we Lord. can fellowship in one accord. I saw Amen. That Yes. Let, let us open our mouth and begin to pray. Father Lord, we ask uh, this month is our month of new beginning and everything that has to do with beginning has to do with creativity. We ask that as we begin this service today, we ask for the spirit of creativity, which is the Holy Spirit. We ask that the Holy Spirit guide us in creativity in different arms of the church, in the prayer department, from the prayer department to the praise team, from the praise team to the worship team, to the ushering department, oh God, we are asking for your spirit of creativity in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we thank you for today and we bless your holy name. And we thank you for we are all gathered here in one accord to glorify your name. And you said when they all were gathered in the upper room in one accord, your mm. spirit, your Holy Spirit came down and descended on them like a wild man. Father Lord, we decree as Father we Lord, are we all decree that as we are in one accord, that oh God, in one accord to seek your presence, mm. oh God. We ask that your Holy Spirit be released your Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Father Lord, you said we are to be gathered in your name that you are already there. In your already name. There in your so name. we do not have to question so whether you are here or not. Because we know we are more than two, and we are more, more than, than you, and we are more than three. We ask that your presence that be made manifest as we need to manifest the service we today. Begin the service let this today. service be so let this service be let so be so be so of let God be in this service in, in the mighty name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And over this service in your name, in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We thank God, even for how far his brother Thank you, our brother Ido, even for the opening prayer. Uh, at this point in time, I just want to say uh, a big welcome to all of us who have joined us. Uh, yeah, so at this point in time, amen. Amen. So amen. we want to welcome uh, our... We want to welcome uh, from Anton, uh, uh, Quentin, Lisa, and Augustina. Amen. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we also want to welcome uh, Pastor. Amen. They are currently setting up in the Abraham house so that to join from there. Amen. Uh, we also want to welcome. Uh, we also want to welcome. Our we want to welcome uh, our sisters. Uh, we also want to welcome. Sorry, we 
Let's welcome Ebenezer. We want to welcome Daniel. Thank you all for joining. We want to welcome our brother Peter. Uh, we want to welcome our brother Peter. Uh,
Continue to pray. So we continue to pray against sicknesses, disease, and untimely deaths. These are elements of destruction the devil is using to devastate the people of God. These are elements of destruction that the devil is using to cut short destinies and to bring down the glory of God on men. But glory be to God that we are children of God, we are believers who the Lord has bought with his blood. And we are praying that even though many are, are, are the afflictions of the righteous, the Bible says that the Lord delivers them from them all. And so we are praying that there be a deliverance from any form of sickness, disease, and untimely death. Whatever arrow of disease that is being thrown at us, whatever arrow of sickness, whatever arrow of untimely death, we shall be exempted in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we pray, O oh God, that you come and have your way in us. We pray, O oh Lord, that you deliver us from every form of sickness and disease. We pray, O oh God, that whatever form of tool of disease the devil is using against us, Father, you will deliver us in the name of Jesus. For no matter the nature of disease and affliction, O oh God, you have power and your counsel is that you will deliver us from them all. Amen. The Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Shall Amen. Amen. Shall we pray? Shall we pray in the name of Jesus? Father of God, we want to pray that the blood of Jesus will cover us. This is the new man. That as we journey through it, we shall not journey through it with any form of disease or sickness. We shall yes. come out of this month whole and healthy in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? The blood of Jesus over us. In the name of Jesus, we declare, O God, that by the blood of Jesus, we we are healed, O God. No form of sickness, O God, will come around our tent. In the name of Jesus, no form of disease, O God, will attack. By the blood of Jesus, we are covered in the name of Jesus. Our families are protected, O God. Our friends are protected, O God. We are delivered by the power in the blood of Jesus. Father, Lord God, we separate our body from the top of our head to the sole of our feet. Lord of Jesus. And so thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, O oh God, to pray, O oh God, for our health and Amen. to pray against any sickness and disease and any untimely death. 
continue yeah. to protect us, O oh Lord, Amen. and guide us through this new month as we bring yeah. newness into our yeah. bodies, into our lives, yeah. into our Amen. families, in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hello, everyone. My prayer point is praying for the nations. In Psalm uh, 29, verse 11, the Lord says that he gives strength to his people and blesses his people with peace. He also says in the book of Leviticus 26, 6, that he will grant peace into the land and you will lie down and no one will make you afraid. I will remove wild beasts from the land and the sword Amen. shall not pass through your country. Yes. So in the midst of everything that is happening right now with COVID-19, certain mm -hmm. parts of the world, they're experiencing civil war and unrest. Mm -hmm. Let us pray for peace. Let us pray and ask God to give us the peace that we need, whether we are in Korea or in the US or in Africa, wherever we are, that the Lord yes. will continue to grant us peace in our families, in our countries especially. So let us pray. Amen. Father God, we thank you, Lord Father, Jesus. Father, we pray for us in your bed, the tenet, the occupation, in the name of Jesus, Jesus Senior. We pray for peace everywhere. In the name of Jesus, where, oh God, war has taken place. Father, let your peace reign in the name of Jesus. Let your peace reign in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let your peace reign, oh God. Let there be understanding of God. Let us pray for our countries, Lord. God of unity, oh God. Let your spirit, oh God. God, let your peace be with you, oh God. Lord Jesus, remove from us every spirit of fear. Help us, Lord, not to look at the situations that are happening around us and speak according to what we see. But, oh God, let us speak according to your word. And your word yes. has said that you have given us peace. So let us speak that peace into, into this realm, Lord Jesus. Father yes. God, help us not to give in to fear, for you haven't given to us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a song mind. So yes. God, our Father, I give you thanks and praise that your peace rests upon South Korea, your peace rests upon the Caribbean, your peace rests upon Africa, your peace rests upon the U.S., your peace rests upon every part of this world, oh God. Lord Jesus, Strengthen this nation. Strengthen the nations of the world. Let people rise up, O oh God, who are righteous and who know you to take charge, O oh God, that, Lord, you will be able to fulfill that peace that you want through them in, in the countries that you need and want it to be in, Lord Jesus. Father God, I thank you for hearing and answering this prayer, O oh Lord, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We give God all the praise, even for how far He has brought us. Um, we would invite our, uh, our, we would invite our brother uh, Bramause to come and give us the the review of the discipleship class which we took last month. Amen. Yeah, hello? Yeah, we can hear you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, can you hear me well, church? Yes. Okay. Uh, we thank God for this wonderful day. Yes. 
And it's another beautiful day to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. And to worship together as family. Yes. Uh, just a brief recap of our discipleship class that we have. Yes. And as you all know, we have this class every month of the yes. uh, uh, once every month. So uh, our last meeting was on uh, July 18th, and we talked about uh, personal discipline of a disciple. Amen. Amen. And our test was based on Isaiah 50 from the verse 4 to 11. Isaiah 50 from the verse 4 to 11. And in this, we discuss about the, the awakening brought into our life by the Holy Spirit. Amen. And um, uh, the God in his own way uh, awakens or teaches us as disciples to know when to speak. That is, he, he teaches us how to speak in season. We know when to speak and when not to speak. Amen. Amen. And it, it, this happens by bringing into our life discipline. And you cannot do as a disciple if you don't have discipline in your life. Amen. And there are several aspects that the Holy Spirit disciplines us as disciples. Amen. Amen. One way that uh, God disciplines us as disciples is to awaken us every day. Yes. And that leads us to declare into the day that we are beginning. Simply what that means is that every morning, God himself awakens us. He, he prompts us to declare into the day that we are going into. Amen. Amen. So how do we, or uh, what are the aspects that God disciplines us as disciples? Amen. Amen. Uh, one aspect is that he disciplines us to hear from God. He disciplines us when it comes to our hearing. Yes. So, you know, in the world, we have so many voices coming around, but then with the help of the Holy Spirit, he gives us that discerning ability yeah, to yeah. hear what is good for our growth amen. as disciples. Amen. amen. He also disciplines us in the aspect of writing. It's yeah. not everything that we write down, but those that help us to grow as disciples. Amen. Yes. amen. And we say that the only way for us to be fresh as disciples every day is to be disciplined. Amen. Amen. Is to be disciplined. Yes. And discipleship is a daily process, yes. not a one day thing. Discipline by being teachable. As a disciple, you need to discipline yourself and make yourself available to teach. Yes. And that goes for disciples also. And one thing that we need to know is that whoever that is discipling us is not an angel. Oh. Amen. Amen. It's not an angel. It's also a human like us. Yes. And it's being used by God to uh, grow us. Amen. Amen. And disciples yes. also need help. Yes. As a disciple, you need to understand that you need help. You need help. So when you recognize that you need help, don't hesitate to draw close to God and plead for that help. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Disciples must be determined. Amen. So there's discipline of being determined. There's discipline of determination. As a disciple, you must always be determined to arrive at the goal or the, 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 the target that God has set for you. Amen. 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 As a disciple, you need to be disciplined in aspects of being focused. Yes. In the aspect of being focused. Amen. Don't allow yourself to be distracted. Yes. I need to keep an eye. Uh, uh, those, like, once being a disciple, mm. you need to uh, close one eye and keep one open. Amen. And our sister uh, clearly <laughs> made that uh, known to us by yeah. uh, referring to the scripture that says that um, keep washing yes. whilst you pray. Amen. Oh, amen. So that comes into yeah. the life of disciple as yes. well. Yes. Amen. Amen. As disciple, we must understand that there might or there will be darkest moments in our life. Yes. That we will not be able to understand. Mm. However, 
you must know that irrespective of the darkest moment, it is a preparation process. Amen. Amen. So when the trial moment comes into your life, don't be discouraged. Yes. It is part of the discipleship process. Amen. 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 And there is an aspect that we need to be disciplined oh. by trusting God. Disciplined by trusting God as a disciple. Yes. If you, if you are not disciplined when it comes to trust with the Almighty God, yes. you might not be able to continue that process of being a disciple. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, uh, Hallelujah. The last thing that we discuss is that we make Jesus our perfect model. Amen. Yes. Amen. Jesus, Amen. our perfect model. And you can't get resolved without consistent discipline. Yes. Being disciplined is not a one day wonder, but you make it as part of your life. Amen. Amen. So, with this, um, this is basically what we studied the last time. Yes. And I will encourage all of us, uh, those who have not been uh, participating, I will encourage you to make yourself available the next time that the class is uh, being uh, held. Yes. Amen. Amen. God bless us all. Amen. 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 Um, at this point in time, uh, we would invite the Torchlight uh, Praise and Worship team to lead us in a time of praise and worship. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so listen and be blessed. And as much as possible, let's try to keep our minds in touch so that we don't need our minds in touch. Amen. 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 Every prayer to my God, every word of worship is the word of God. Every prayer, every prayer is to my God. Mm -hmm. Every prayer to my God, to my God. Every prayer.
Thank you, Lord Almighty. Give God the glory. Give God the glory. glory. Give God glory. the glory. Give God the glory for such mm -hmm. wonderful time mm -hmm. in the presence mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. First, I uh, appreciate you all, those on Zoom and those also on Facebook. Yes. I thank you all for the start. This is the second service. And those who already joined the second service, Yes, I believe you will. I mean, I believe you uh, you will be blessed with double. Yeah. I'm telling you, you will be blessed with double. Yeah. So we give God the glory for everyone for those songs. Wonderful songs from our sister, Sister Who, Emanuela Wright. Yeah. That was a wonderful song from our sister, yeah. Emanuela. Wonderful voice, wonderful voice, wonderful voice you got there. Yeah. We thank you for the worship, we thank you for everything. We thank you for the opening, and we also thank God for the reviewing of the discipleship class. Yes, Lord. That was for, that was fun. That was, you know. So we give God the glory for everything unto God. Amen. Amen. Unto Amen. God, unto God, unto God. Wherever yes, you are, Lord. you are welcome to First Light International Ministry. It is in Seoul and also in Answers. 
So yes. you all are welcome. You all are welcome. It's all about God. Yes. It's about it's about God. It's about God. It's about yes. who? God. God. Even in this pandemic, let us look unto him because he is the author and the finisher, and the finisher of, our faith. of our faith. Amen. Amen. Right now, we want to talk quickly as uh, we go into the scriptures. Like I told you before, the scriptures, they are pictures for our future. Scriptures are what? They are pictures for what? For our future, right? Yeah. So, all right. So, if I, when you open scriptures, you are opening picture. That's right. Picture of your tomorrow, picture of your future, I'm mm -hmm. telling you. It's telling you of your tomorrow, not of your past. Mm -hmm. That's what scriptures is. It's telling you of your tomorrow because scripture needs to script out your past Amen. and push you to your future. Amen. I'm telling you to do what? To delete your past. Mm -hmm. That is scripture. To, to what? To delete your past and push you to your future. Yes. That is called, yes, that's why it's called scripture. Scripture. I'm telling you, not your past. No. It's not telling you of your past, of your mistake you made some days ago or some years ago. So years ago, it was one act of one ignorance. Yes. And now we are in Christ now. Amen. So scriptures are pictures for tomorrow, for your future. Yes. So whenever you open scriptures, you are seeing pictures of your destiny. Amen. Picture of where you are going to. Not your past, not your sin. I'm telling you, not your mistakes anymore. Yes. So I want you to have this perspective wherever you are. Now, anytime you're opening scriptures, you are opening pictures. Mm. Pictures of your tomorrow, yes. pictures of your great future. Amen. That is that is why the scriptures are for sure. I'm sure. telling you, somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so the theme for this year, I mean the theme for this month of August is we call it a new beginning. A new what? Beginning. beginning. That is the theme for this month of August. Don't forget, August has six letters, mm. six letters, six alphabetic letters. I'm telling you, so before we get into September, October, November, December, the four remaining months, they are called Umba months. Yes. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Umba month, Umba month. So this month is very, this month is very important for us all. Amen. So before we go, let's open the scriptures in Genesis. Let's start from Genesis. Genesis 7, 13 to 16. Yes, it's on the screen, right? Yes. Okay, it's on the screen. So, yes, it's on the screen. Yes, so someone should help us to read it. It's on the screen. <laughs> yes. Okay, somebody help us to read, uh, to read it. It is it's on the screen, both on Facebook and both on Zoom. Go ahead, please. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Let's go. Genesis 7, yes, sir. 13 to 16. Yes, sir. In the self same day entered Noah mm -hmm. and Shell and Ham mm -hmm. and Japheth, the mm -hmm. sons of Noah, mm -hmm. and Noah's wife, mm -hmm. and the three wives of his sons mm -hmm. with them into the ark. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So they uh -huh. and every beast after his kind mm -hmm. and all the cattle. After their kind, yes, and every creeping thing that crept upon the earth, yes. after his kind, mm -hmm. and every fowl after his kind, mm -hmm. every bird of every sort. Mm -hmm. 15. The verse 15. Yes, sir. And they went in unto Noah into the ark. Yes. Two and two of all flesh. Yes. Wherein is the breath of life. Mm. And they that went in went in male and female of mm. all flesh, mm. as God had commanded him, mm. and the Lord shut him in. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. The question is, who shut them in? The Lord. Yeah. <laughs> the Lord shut them in. I'm telling you, the Lord, Father, we thank you for your word this season. Yes. Let your word be in written with your power, with yes. your understanding. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. For the word is quicker, sharper than two, and the sword, piercing, dividing into the marrow. Let the world open our eyes of understanding. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Use me as a pen of a ready writer. Remove self from me. Let you alone be seen in my life. Thank you. 
decrease me so that you might increase. Thank you for everyone, both on the Facebook, both on the Zoom, that you touch each one, touch their lives, touch them whatever they are. But thank you for shutting us in. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your deliverance, for shutting us in, even in this time of the pandemic. Thank you for shutting us in. Amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, in Jesus. Somebody shout amen. 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 Thank you. Now, in the beginning, it's about to emerge. Yes. Can't you see that the old is about falling? The old, the old, the old world is about going. The old world is about falling. Many things are happening. The old world, the economy is falling. Many things are happening in the nation. In Turkey, it's fire. Fire is over there now. This is a fire. Yes. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, in, in fact, because in Europe, Europe is about flow, different kind of flow. Hail storm, thunderstorm is in Europe right now. So what is happening in the world? Earthquake here, earthquake there. Yes. In Korea, what we are facing here is different variants and also heat. That is what is happening here now. So everybody in different kind of place. Yes. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. This scripture, like we read today, is about Noah. When you talk Noah, Noah was the only righteous man. Yes. In his own generation. And so God told him to build the an ark. And you may start calling for 40 days and for 40 nights. Mm -hmm. But after one of the days, the ark came to rest. So the ark stays on the water for 150 days. Yeah. And so what happened during the period of time? So when it comes to the target of entering the ark, not and his family, which is four plus four, the men are four, the women are four. So four plus four is equal eight. Amen. So that means eight sons were saved in times of no. Mm. God destroyed, you know, God destroyed the world, but left only Noah. That means God knows what he's doing. Amen. That's why we have a recreation. That's why we have a new beginning. We have what? A new beginning. Mm. A reopening of a new thing that's about to emerge. The old is passed away. And the new is coming. Somebody mm. say new. Yeah. Um, but whatever, my sister, whatever you are, new things about to emerge. It's about to emerge in your life, in your family, in your job, whatever, whatever that you do, new things is about to emerge. Yes. My brother, my sisters in Christ, four women, four men, they were, they were. They were the generation of Noah that opened a new beginning. A new beginning. A new beginning. A new beginning. A new what? Beginning. Beginning. Quickly, let's see uh first Peter. First Peter 3, verse 20. First Peter 3, verse 20. First Peter 3, verse 20. Somebody help us to read it, please. Somebody help us to read it, please. We sometimes were disobedient. When was the long suffering of God waited in the day of Noah? Hmm. Why the ark was preparing wherein few, that is, eight souls mm -hmm. were saved by water. They're mm. saved by water. Amen. 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 Like you saw, I mean, in first Peter 3 20. Yes. Now they say we sometimes we are disobedient. God hates disobedient spirit. Like what is happening in this time. God hates what? Disobedient spirit. spirit. Like what is happening right now. You see, the scripture says, we sometimes we are disobedient. Yes. Where was the long suffering of God? God so waited me patiently. God waited patiently for them to change. Uh, he sent yeah. Noah to go tell them yes. to change. But he said they were mocking Noah. 
they were drinking and they were they were doing all sorts of things. They were distracted with the things of the world, like what is happening now. People are distracted with what is going on. Yes. So the scripture that we like to say here is that we sometimes we are disobedient. When was the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah while the ark was being prepared? There was a preparation for the people to enter. God ought mandate is that those who repented should enter in. Not only is he wanted people who repented to, to what? To follow Noah to the ark. Amen. But he discovered that none of them, none of them, and not the people, they know they repented. He said it was becoming worse. They were marrying and giving marriage. Those things you see, marriage, drinking, is a sort of distraction. They were distracted with what was happening in those times of uh, of, of Noah. So the Bible says the ark was preparing very few, as according to First Peter 3 20, very few that is eight souls were saved by water. We are saved by water, 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 water. The ark was on top of the water. So it was the water that took the ark up. The water, the water. That same water who took the that same water that took the ark up. It's the water that killed those people that did not uh, repent. Yes. The same water who saves, mm. the same water can also kill. That's right. So water can save. What I can kill. Mm. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. My brother, my sisters, let's go to uh under scripture in Matthew 24, Matthew 24, uh 36 to 39. Matthew, Matthew 24, 36 to 39. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Matthew 24, the verse 36 to 39. Yes, sir. But of that day and hour, mm -hmm. knoweth no man. Mm -hmm. No, not the angels of heaven, mm -hmm. but my father only. Mm -hmm. But as the days of Noah, as the days of Noah were, mm -hmm. so shall all the coming of. Sorry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Yes, sir. For as in the days before the flood, mm. they were eating and drinking, mm. marrying and giving in marriage mm. until the day that Noah entered the ark mm. and did not know until the flood came mm. and took them all away. Mm. So also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Amen. 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 Did you see it? He said, but on that day, what day? That day of Noah. It happened before in Noah's time. In Noah's generation, he said, On that day and hour, no one, no man, not even angels, not even pastors, not even prophets, no one that day, no matter how the professor, you know, <laughs> they don't know, they don't know, they don't know, they don't know. Mm -hmm. The prophet don't know, the pastors don't know, the reverend don't know, even the angels don't know, except God who know it, except yes, God who know right. it. Only the angels, the angels should not know, mm. God's angels. God's messenger did not know. Like God, even the pastors, even the prophets, mm. even the reverend, even the seer, even the geo, they, they don't know. Mm. <laughs> I, I am ready for the scripture. It's only God that knows where that day. Amen. He said, for us in the days that we are before the thought, they were what eating. Yes. They were drinking Mary. Those things are distraction. They were so distracted with what is happening today in the world. Yes. Can you see that there's no repentance now? Mm. There is no repentance. People are even becoming worse. I'm telling you. People are, are what? Becoming worse. Becoming worse. Becoming worse. The sin is so much. The sin is too much right now. The sin is too much. Can't you see that these are the signs of the end time? Yes. But don't forget, it was only eight people that were saved. Mm. And those eight recreated a new beginning. Amen. I'm telling you, they get what? A new, new beginning. beginning. So that's what I said. And you not until the flood came and took away all away. So also, so also shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Now you see, they will not know when it will come. They will still enjoy, they will see distracted with a lot of things, with a lot of things. They will not know when the Son of Man will come. It will come on our way. On on us. That is why it's good to be prepared. The yeah. earth means preparation. The earth, the earth. The act means what? Preparation. Preparation. But the people, they were not understanding it. 
Yes. They were still, they were, you know, they were abusing this man, Noah, who are you? Uh, they were abusing him, they were mocking him. They said, oh, you, 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 you know, they were, they were drinking, they were distracted with us, activity, you know, activities, yes. activities, yes. until the blood came. And the blood took them, the blood killed all of them, except for eight people. Already, they were inside the ark. And the Lord himself shot, uh, shot them in, shot yeah. them in, shot yeah. them in, shot them what? In. in, shot them in. Now listen to me. I have always thought that Noah was safe in the ark because he built it according to God's specification. I thought that perhaps it was the strength of, you know, of the womb and the soundness of the architecture that ensured that the waters of the top, you know, would not come into the ark. But today, I understand where, I understand where, that the animals going in their name, mm. they were male and female. Mm. Every living thing as God had commanded Noah. Yes. Then the Lord himself shot in the mm. Please, don't mistake this. Even after Noah had built the ark, it was God himself who shot the in. Hallelujah. In order to shut out the waters for the flood, you know, the other tradition says he sealed them there. The Lord sealed them inside. The Lord sealed them inside. I pray for you, those watching from the Facebook and Zoom. May the Almighty God seal us inside his ark of protection yes. throughout this world in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, now it is not it is not the fact that you have, you know, locked your house that keeps you safe at night, even if you lock your house. And keep you safe at night. It is not because you know you are good in driving, you have that skills or keep you safe on the road. Neither is your what victim habits. You try to select this safe, you know, this so that I should not grow obese or whatever habits that keeps you healthy. Only God can shut you in. Only God. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, only God can shut you in and shut out the devil Amen. that is seeking to the boy. Amen. I pray for you today on the Zoom and on the Facebook. Yes. Father, we pray that in this eighth month of 2021, yes. as you walk into the streets, mm. as you drive on the road, oh God, shut us in. Amen. Oh God, Amen. shut us in. Amen. Amen. Yes. That in the midst of dangers mm. and molesters, oh you will show them in. You will show them in. Amen. You will show them in. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for everyone. Keep all the cold waters of abuse. Yes. In. Yes. Shut us in your ark of protection. Into your ark of compassion. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We find you. We find you. We find you. Can you see what is happening today? Yes. Can you see Ray? 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 Can you see Ray? Hmm. People are molesting young children. About 16 years old. About 15 years old. About 9 years old. Hmm. People are molesting. I'm telling you dangers against children. I'm telling you. That is what is good to pray for our children. Yes. I'm telling you, I pray for our children. Pray for your children. Pray for Amen. our children. Father, I pray unto us all today. Yes. May God shut us in. Amen. As we obey Him and trust in Him Amen. in your precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Now let us also go to another scripture in 2 Corinthians 5 17. 2 Corinthians 5 17, please. Hallelujah. Amen. 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 5, verse 17. Yes, sir. Therefore, mm -hmm. if anyone is in Christ, mm -hmm. he is a new creation. Mm -hmm. All things have passed away. Uh -huh. Behold, all things have become new. Yes. Do you see that? Amen. 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 And Pastor Paul, they need to understand it. He said, therefore, if any man, it doesn't mean he's the only pastor. Any man. Any man. Any man. You can be a layman. Mm. Any man, if yeah. any man be in Christ, 
is a new creature. Do you see new creature? Yes. The old has passed away. The old, the old life has passed away. The old, all things have become new. Yeah. Now, speaking about a new creature, speaking about a new beginning, is an indication that there was an old one. Is that correct? That's right. There was an old one. There was an old one. A new life in Christ. A new life in Christ. However, is the you know is the new way of thinking, the new way of doing things in accordance with the word of God. Yeah. Let's see that from Galatians 2:20. Galatians 2:20. Galatians 2, verse 20. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Galatians 2, verse 20. Yes, sir. I have been crucified with Christ. Yeah. It is no longer I who live, mm -hmm. yes. but Christ lives in me. Mm -hmm. yes. And the life which I now live in the flesh, yes. I live by faith in the Son of God, mm. who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Apostle Paul, he did to say, I am crucified with Christ. Yes. Can you see? It's still like now. Mm. If you don't understand this, that he's been crucified with Christ. With Christ. Nevertheless, he said, I live, yet not I. No, not I. Uh, but Christ liveth in me. Amen. So as a new beginning, a new creature, Christ liveth in you. Yes. When Christ liveth in you, that is a new beginning in your life. Amen. The old life has gone. The old life has passed away. Yes. The old life has passed away. Why? Because Christ, the anointed one, is living in you to, to create a new beginning in your life. Amen. So the Christ liveth in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh. No, we have the flesh. The flesh also can help us. Mm. Can help us. The flesh is very important too. Yes. The flesh takes us everywhere. It's very important. But Apostle Paul said, in the flesh, he lived by the faith of God. Yes. So, who loved, who loved me and gave himself for me? My brother, my sisters, this simply means that when a person accepts Jesus Christ as his Lord and personal Savior, such a person automatically becomes dead to the old life. Amen. They become what? Death, Death to, to the, the old life. life. Death to the old life. Death to the old life. Can you see in the days of Noah that God destroyed the old life and he created a new life through Noah and his family? To Noah and his family? To Noah and his family? So every link with the old life is cut off. Mm. I'm telling you, that means to say, your flesh will no longer control you anymore. Amen. Your flesh will no longer control you. Your flesh is already dead. Your flesh is what? It's already dead. Already dead. The old password simply refuses to work because the username has changed. The old password refuses to work to work because the username has changed. This marks the end of the old life. Hmm. This marks the end of the old life. life. I'm telling my brother, I'm beginning of a new one in Jesus Christ. The new one, the new one, as seen in today's, you know. Into this scripture that, that read that if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. He said, All things are passed away, and behold, all things are becoming eh, new. So, my brother, my sisters in Christ, at this point in time, everything about the life we lived before we met Jesus ceases. Yes. Everything stopped, everything ceases. Every new creature in Christ submit to his lordship. From the point of rebirth, we begin to hunger for righteousness. We begin to hunger by pursuing purity. Amen. We begin to hunger for honesty. We begin to hunger for justice, for love, for humility, and service to humanity. Amen. So, my brother, my sisters in Christ, we now we take on a new focus in life. The Bible makes it clear that becoming a Christian is more than adopting a new philosophy. Of life, it starts from a new mind, yes. a new mindset. You you immediately begin to think differently mm. from the old ways to such an extent that your new behavior may seem strange, yes. even to you, even to you. Mm. The way you talk, the way you act, the way you do things, the anger that is in you, you start melting. You become light. The way you reason. You become strange. When somebody says you are sick, say no, I'm not sick. Mm. And you are sick, I'm not sick. Yes. 
uh, you are, uh, he said, you are, so, no, I'm not sick. But he see you with pain. He said, no. So my brother, that is the new life now. The new life, the new life. You see, because when God kept Noah and his family in the ark, we didn't hear whether they were sick. Did you hear it? We never heard it whether they were sick or they were hunger or they were, they were uh, you know, we never heard them. Yeah. God said them. If God is keeping you in, there must be enough food for you to eat. Amen. Because his presence is the fullness of joy. Yes, and as his right hand, they are what? So God showed them in as He showed them in there is food for them to eat. Hallelujah. I'll tell you, that's why they have to produce a new, a new world. Mm. A new world. They are now recreated from the old self to become you. Yes. Somebody say new. New. Somebody say new. New. Somebody say new. 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 This new life in Christ comes with assurance of abundant, you know, of abundant life here on this earth, even in heaven. You have the assurance of your answered prayers. Yes. Confidence in his love and mercy. Mm -hmm. My brother, my sisters, as you read, you know, his word, your faith grows. Your faith grows. It, grows. It, it also intensifies to the point where you know that he will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. My brother, my yes. sisters in Christ, this is our new beginning, our yes. new beginning, yes. our new beginning, yes. our new beginning. Yes. Somebody Amen. shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The next scriptures, I told you for the scriptures, they are pictures. Yeah, pictures. So we have to go from first Peter to verse 9. First Peter 2, verse what? Verse 9. Verse 9. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 First Peter chapter 3, verse 9. Yes, sir. But you are a chosen generation, uh -huh. a royal priesthood, uh -huh. a holy nation, uh -huh. his own special people. Yes. That you may proclaim the praises of him mm. who called you out of darkness. Amen. 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 You see, that? the scripture says that you are a chosen. Chosen. You, 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 you now proceed that have changed. You now proceed that have left your old life and embraced the new. He said, you are a chosen generation. Yes. A royal priesthood and all a nation, a peculiar people that you should show forth. Your own now is a show for his praise. Amen. Show for his glory. Hallelujah. If there is a cast down, there is a lifting up in your head. In this season, yes. in this season. This is time to show what is praise. Amen. This is time to show what is glory. Amen. So Amen. Lord that God is with me. God is with me. And God is with me. Amen. This is time to show for His glory. Oh. And time to show for His praise. Yes. And time to show for His knowledge of the world. Hallelujah. Because He has taken you away from darkness and put you into His marvelous light. Mm -hmm. Light has come. You cannot see very well. Yes. So when it comes to be talking according to light, nice. somebody shout hallelujah. Ah. Hallelujah. It's Christmas. Is Revelation 1, 5 to 6. Revelation. Yeah, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Revelation chapter 1, yes. verse 5 to 6. Yes, sir. And from Jesus Christ, uh -huh. the faithful witness, uh -huh. the firstborn from the dead, uh -huh. and the ruler over the kings of the earth, uh -huh. to him who loves us yes. and washed us from our sins in his own blood. Uh -huh. And has made us kings and priests to his God and Father. Mm. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. He said, I am from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness. Mm. So that is, that is the witness today we have. Yes. Others have come and declared that they are Jesus Christ. But before they wake up, turn up, bless them. Is it all over, over? Is it the fraternity? My God. Is it the ignorance of England? My God. They try, they said, they, you know, they try, they said, don't worry. When they die, they wake up in, uh, you know, the third day. Mm. But before they wake up, turn up last day. Last so this is the witness that we have. Yes. Because it's only Christ that can forgive sin. Amen. Only Christ that can wash away sin. Because his blood is unique. His mm. blood is sancti you know, sanctification. His blood is sanctity. His blood is clean. His blood is virgin. Amen. He said, I'm from Jesus, that's the faithful witness. 
The first begotten of the dead. Did you see? Yes. The first begotten. There is no second begotten. Mm -hmm. There is no begotten. Mm -hmm. The first begotten. This is the only one that rose. Oh. Abraham died in never rose. Yes. Moses, our forefathers, they died. They never rose. Yes. But only Jesus Christ rose up from the dead. Hallelujah. I to you know that his blood can cleanse you from your heart. Amen. His blood can cleanse you from your you know, from your mistakes, your sins, and diseases and sicknesses. Somebody Amen. shout hallelujah. Amen. Oh, he said, I want you to the witness. And the first because of the day. And the priest of the kings of the earth. Yes. No matter what is going on, is still the priest of the kings of the earth. Mm. The Bible says the earth is the Lord and the fullness. Eh? Yeah. He said, to him that loved us. Would you imagine? To him that loved us. And washed us from our sins in his own blood. In his own blood. In his own blood. And has made us kings and priests to God. And his father told him the glory and dominion forever and ever. Whenever you are, say with me, I have been washed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I have been washed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I want to say it I have been washed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Precious blood of Jesus Christ. Precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Spirit of authority with some eternity. Somebody shout, Amen. 
Amen. Then we are taking another scripture from uh, Revelation 21, verse 4. Revelation 21, verse 4. Yeah, amen. amen. Revelation chapter 21, the verse 4. Yes, sir. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes, mm -hmm. and there shall be no more death, mm -hmm. nor sorrow, mm -hmm. nor crying. Mm -hmm. There shall be no more pain, mm -hmm. for the former things have passed away. Amen. 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 Did you see what happened? That God wiped the tears, wiped the sorrow away from Noah's family. Yes. And God shall wipe every tear from their eyes. Yes, it's only God that has the capacity to wipe away tears. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. and God shall wipe away tears from their eyes. There shall be no more, no more, no more death, no more death, no, no more death, neither sorrow, no crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. Amen. Amen. Coming into this, into this, into this what realization, mm. my brother, my sisters in Christ, that we are citizens of heaven. It confirms mm -hmm. the scripture verse that says all things are passed away. Yeah. That means to say every past pain is being taken away. Yes, Lord. Whether you like it or not. So as a citizen of heaven, we shall now start to live a life of a new beginning. Amen. A life Amen. of what? A new beginning. New beginning. Because Christ in us is the hope of glory. glory. What is inside you is Christ. And Christ being new, new, new. He has come to stay with you so that you can have it. What area? Not of the world anymore. Not of the world anymore. Not of the world. Not of, the world. Not of your past. Not of your mistake. Because mm. we've been washed. Mm. When Christ washed away our sins, our past is up. It's also washed. Thank so much. Hallelujah. 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 And let us see. The last scripture for today before we pray. Revelation 12, verse 10. Revelation 12, verse 10. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Revelation 12, verse 10. Yes, sir. Then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, mm. Now mm. salvation and strength mm. and the kingdom of our God mm. and the power of his Christ mm. have come. Mm. For the accuser of our brethren, mm -hmm. who accused them before our God day and night, yes, has been cast down. down. Mm. Amen. 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 Did you see that? This was John. John was taken to the island of Patmos, and he began to he began to hear a voice. He said, "And I heard a loud voice say in heaven, like we all are hearing a voice now. That you know, you know. He said, I heard a voice in heaven." He said, now mm. is come salvation. Mm. Are you not saved? Are you not saved? We all are saved. We, are saved. we all are saved. That is the voice I'm hearing now. Thank you. What voice are you hearing? Are you saved? Yes, I'm saved. What yes, voice are you hearing now? I am saved. We are we are what? We are saved. Amen. We are saved. Yes. That is the voice we are hearing now. See, I want to voice saying in heaven. Say now. Everyone say now. 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 You see, now is from yesterday, it's now, 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 now is come, now is come, now is God salvation. Once you have a recreated spirit, that means you are saved. Amen. That means you are saved. The old Amen. life is taken away. You have a new beginning, yes, a new life, Amen. a new mentality. Amen. The way you talk, the way you act, the way you do things, they are all new. Amen. Somebody Amen. shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the kingdom of God and the power of his Christ for the whole accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God. I mean, how many, how many day? Day and night. The devil can accuse you. He will tell you, Oh, I saw you last year. You were a failure. I saw you, you were a failure. I saw you, you committed sin. I saw you. What do you say? Say, Hey, devil, you are a pastor. Amen. Both you and your mother, you know, you are pastor. Amen. I'm telling you, you tell the devil, say, devil, look, if you are reminding me of a pastor, I have a picture. Yes. I'm living in a dress. I'm not going to tell you. Yeah. Amen. My dress is changed. I don't have the other dress. The other dress is changed. I have a new username now. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The scripture, like we know, I told you before, scriptures are pictures for our future. 
Anytime you see this picture, just know this is the picture of you of who you are now. Mm -hmm. That the devil act, he can accuse you in the day time. Mm -hmm. He can accuse you at night. Why did you always see yourself, you know, in your former health? Because the devil is accusing you now. Yes. Even though you are born again, Christian, but the devil will tell you, oh, yes, he will tell you of your past. You start seeing yourself mm -hmm. in your former school. Mm -hmm. Your former school with friends, old friends. Your former, your former life. So that is, he's not accusing you now. Accusing you, he's not you now. So that you feel guilty. Yes. And don't pray anymore. And begin to say, oh, I'm regretting. That, whatever you are saying, that devil, that, that devil, devil, and his mother, you know, and his mother, you know, they are all bastards. 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 The devil can accuse you. What is the day? What is the night? Yes. I'm telling you, that's why you have to have the authority of who you are now. Mm. When he mm. accuses you, you also tell him you are a bastard. Amen. And you put me in my past address. Mm. Go and check me on my past address. I have changed address. Amen. I have changed address. Do I have a past? I don't need that. Say with me. Do I have a past? Do I have a past? I don't need them anymore. I don't, I don't, need, I don't need them anymore. My address is changed. My, my address, address is changed. Is changed. Say with me. That, say with me. Say with me. That my passport and username are changed. My passport and username are changed. Even the devil speaks, you have to speak back at him. Yes. The devil is a spirit. You must become spirits too. That's right. But it's talking to also tell him. Mm. That you don't have a past anymore. Do you have a past? But it's not in there anymore. Amen. Anymore. You have a present with your future. future. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 I pray for you on Facebook and on, you know, on Facebook and on Zoom. In Amen. this month of August. Yes. In this month of August. Amen. Amen. Let us declare our month of new beginning. Amen. All your pain, all your pain, yes. we will be taken away. Amen. In the precious Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. There, will be, there will be what? Miraculous healing in your body. Amen. Amen. Right Amen. Now, Amen. You see, see your body now. There's healing in your body. There's healing in your body. There's healing in your body. Amen. 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 Because Amen. the new mentality you are giving to life. Amen. Our brothers and sisters in Christ. I pray for you. There will be miraculous healing. Amen. Amen. The hands of all your ill loved ones will be miraculously touched. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 We take away your sorrow away. Amen. By the expansion of the kingdom we come from. Don't forget. Violence. Death. Yes. And bloodshed will not be hurt in your territory. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ.
Yes, so my brother and sisters, this is the word for you today. Yes. And yes. before I go, as, as a citizen of heaven, number one is your tongue. What I say? Your tongue. Your tongge. Because a clean tongue will produce a clean life. What I say? A clean tongue will produce a clean life. Mm. My brother, sanctify your tongue to sanctify your life. What I say? Sanctify your tongue. Sanctify your life. A man is considered to be perfect if he does not offend in words. Yeah. Don't offend in words. A man is considered to be perfect if he does not what? Offend in okay. words. Right. So be careful of your tongue. Keep your mm. tongue to keep your life. What I said? Keep your keep tongue your to keep your, keep your life. life. Keep your because death mm. and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes. Yeah. So my brother and my sister, touch lips from heaven. It's not for the price of the best a man for divine summit. What I say? Touch lips from heaven. It's what qualifies and prepares a man for divine death assignment. Mm. Be careful of the eh? be careful of what you say. Don't forget again, I repeat again. A clean tongue will produce a clean life. Amen. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. a clean what? Tongue. So we do what? We produce a clean, clean life. life. People on Zoom, what I say? People on Zoom, what I say? We produce a king life. A king we produce a king life. A king life. Very good, my brother. So that is that's it. So your tongue, put your tongue in check. Your tongue, your tongue, your tongue, your tongue, your tongue. Your tongue, your tongue, your tongue. Your tongue is a path canal to your destiny. Be careful mm -hmm. of how you abuse yourself. You are too precious. You are too beautiful. You are too strong mm -hmm. to have one. Do not limit yourself because of this COVID. Don't limit mm -hmm. yourself. Don't limit yourself. Mm -hmm. Sanctify your tongue. So sanctify your life. Sanctify what? Your tongue. So sanctify mm -hmm. your life. Mm -hmm. I tell my brother, keep your tongue to keep your life. What I say? Keep your keep tongue to keep your, keep your, keep your, keep your life. life. Your life. Your life. Somebody said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray today. I've got only one prayer for today, which is from, we are taking it from Luke, uh, Luke chapter 21, 25 to 28. Mm -hmm. Luke 21, 25 to 28. That's only one prayer for Amen. Amen. Luke chapter 21, verse 25 to 28. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. And there will be signs in the sun. In the moon and in the stars, mm -hmm. and on the earth is stress of nations mm -hmm. with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, mm -hmm. men's hearts failing them from fear and the expectation of those things mm -hmm. which are coming on the earth. Yes, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Mm -hmm. Then they will see the Son of Man mm. coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Yes. Now, when these things begin to happen, mm -hmm. look up and lift up your, your head. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because your redemption draws near. You understand? Yeah. When all these things begin to happen, the Bible says we should look up. Look mm -hmm. unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Yes. Wherever you are, sir, we say, my time has come. My time, my time, my time has come. come. Say, my deliverance has come. My, my deliverance has come. come. Yes. No. My brother, say, my healing has come. My, my healing, healing has come. come. My salvation has come. My, my salvation, salvation has come. come. My salvation will not come until this thing happens. Yes. God will judge the wicked, judge the nation. Amen. As he's judging them, that's when your time will come. Yes. As he without judgment, without vengeance, your time will not come. Your time will not come. Your deliverance will not come. Yes. Your hunger will not come. Now, he did not come. Come on, we judge the world. Amen. When God does his work, that is where your time will come. Amen. Whatever you are, stand up and now say, My time has come. 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 My healing has come. My salvation has come. My blessings has come. My blessings has come. 
My miracle is on the way. He's here with me. My miracle is here with me. My miracle is here with me. My miracle is here with me. My time has come. My time has come. My time has come. I cannot be stopped. I cannot be stopped. I am going forward. I am going forward. Oh, my God.